The Tesla Model 3 is the most compact vehicle in Tesla's current lineup of EVs, especially when you compare it to its close cousin, the Model Y, which has about 75% parts in common, and is also the closest price comparison. When making the decision on our Tesla purchase, we opted for the Model 3 since the plan was for it to be our daily driver in a commuter car. We also own a Subaru Ascent for large hauls or long trips, so the intent was never for the Tesla to become our new road trip car. Even the Model Y would likely not have been sufficient for carting around a family of four that included two toddlers and all the extras they require when we go away for an entire week. Maybe the Cybertruck or the Model X would be enough space, but one isn't currently shipping and the other is pretty far out of our price range right now, so it was not an option. However, we're about to go on a long road trip and would love to take our Model 3 to get the benefits of gas savings. With a shorter trip, I think we can actually fit everything we need for us and the kids in the car. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Max and today I want to answer the question of if a family of four can take a Tesla Model 3 on a weekend road trip. Again, keep in mind my wife and I are traveling with a one-year-old and three-year-old. This means there are certain things that we're packing that we have to use like car seats or a pack and play that limit our space more so than a family that is traveling with either older kids or a completely adult crowd. To start with, let's take a look at what we will be packing. I have a large suitcase, a small suitcase, a diaper bag, a pack and play, two travel strollers, two booster seats, diapers, and a cooler. When packing the car, I started with the under trunk compartment. While this isn't a terribly large space, it was actually plenty big enough for me to fit both booster seats into. There is also a little bit of extra room if I decide to stick towels or anything else down here that we decide to pack last minute. Next, I loaded my large suitcase, which fit perfectly in the back of the trunk. You can see it fits very well back there and leaves ample room for other luggage in the front space, as well as leaving some clearance over top of it if I need to squeeze extra things in. In front of the suitcase, I then moved on to the pack and play and the small suitcase, which cleanly fit as well with ample room around either side. I was able to easily squeeze the extra diaper pack into the open space as well. And here is where I hit my first snag. Without folding down the seats, I cannot fit either of our travel strollers in going completely vertically in the car. They're simply too long. And for me to pack them horizontally so that they'd fit in the trunk, then they become too bulky for me to fit any other luggage that I had already put in the car in there. So I had to find another space for them. I opted to run them across the floor area in the back seats since our kids are in car seats and they do not need the leg room. This is also where an EV helps with the packing layout. Since the back seat does not have a typical hump in the middle seat foot space that ICE cars typically have, the strollers were able to fit across that leg room easily with plenty of extra room. Now from here, all I had left was the cooler, which fit nicely in the trunk. And well, there you have it. We were able to easily get all of our luggage into the car for this type of trip. We actually have plenty of extra space in various areas around the car where we can load up extra beach towels, bags for toys for the kids, snacks for the kids, snacks for us, backpacks of our own. The Model 3 was easily a viable option for a vehicle for this type of trip. If you were to put a roof rack on your Tesla or else have one of the bigger models, it's even more feasible for you to use your car for these type of trips, even with families with small children that do require a lot of extra packing. So yeah, we will take our Model 3 on its first road trip this weekend. Maybe I'll do a standalone video on how that road trip actually goes in practice. That's all I have for today. If you have your own experience packing and traveling with your Tesla or with the Model 3 specifically, please feel free to share that in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this content and you wanna see more, please like, comment, and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching, until next time.